Well, this time, let's really finish this bike. Hey guys, Rado here. We are in Jay's garage, Dirt Bike TV, and we are going to finish this bike today. Just getting ready for uh, graphics to be installed, cleaning all the plastics, and making sure all the little details are done. So, guys, sit back, relax. We're gonna install this real quick, and I cannot wait to show you this bike. If you know why, it makes a lot of sense. If you know why this Slovakia edition has number 93, comment below, let me know. I've been closer to Jesus before So can you help me out? Oh, can you help me out? Am I on my own? Am I on my own? But can you help me out? Am I Alright guys, so this is it, 2012 KTM 300 Slovakia edition and this is the Dirt and Iron build number 5. Man, guys, I cannot even tell you how stoked, how happy I am looking at this build. 
you know in the beginning when i started this build kind of long time ago maybe like eight months i had a certain uh, image in my mind see the picture right how this bike should look but i'm telling you the way it looks is way better than what i was envisioning in the beginning so i'm really stoked how everything turned out and this time this build we went all the way even more than what we usually do uh, so everything is touched everything is done even more than, uh, than you need to even more than you have to so for example the suspension we took it completely apart and when it was apart we didn't just fix the uh, the suspension but we also did some custom uh, anodizing some custom seracoating some custom uh, powder coating so everything looks amazing when uh you know when it came back from the shop and start putting these uh, things uh, th these pieces together man i was so happy doing this build you know the story right the slovakia edition i'm from slovakia originally and uh KTM in 2016 had a six days edition that was in a Slovak colors because the race was in Slovakia for that year. When I first saw the bike, I was like, man, I have to have that bike one day. And it was kind of a long time ago, 2015. But then last year I bought this bike and I thought, hey, would be even better not to buy Slovakia edition, but to build my own original Slovakia edition that hopefully will look better and hopefully run better than the 2016 KTM Slovakia edition. So uh, this is it. You guys let me know. Uh, is this bike looking better than 2016? Uh, share your opinion. I know it's a uh, it's very uh, subjective uh, thing to say, but I'm stoked. I think it looks amazing. Uh, let me know your opinion. I really want to hear your comments. So comment below and let me know. All right, my friends, so right now the bike is fresh as it gets and we're going to keep it like that. I cannot ride it right now because right after this video, probably tomorrow, I'm going to drop the bike off at Dirt Bike Magazine. They're going to do their shooting, their review, their video, uh, their articles, all the good stuff they do. And then when we get it back, we're going to ride it a bunch. Uh, even though it looks too good to ride, I know, I was kind of thinking, maybe this one I can just put somewhere since this is the, the Slovak bike and, you know, I'm the Slovak guy, so maybe just put it somewhere and just look at it but yeah uh, i don't think that <laughs> i don't think i could do that it, this thing runs really good when i was breaking it in it runs really good all right so let's talk a little bit what we did to this bike when we had our bare frame we sent it over to san diego powder coating they did this beautiful red color and we also have a matching uh spring that's also done by them powder coating uh, in san diego powder coating so everything is nice and red and that was our beginning our base uh, so then everything start uh from the frame and uh this uh, decals and the, and the motor seat seat cover and the white ufo plastic that was this design that we had in mind so i sent uh my ideas over to decal mx uh, along with my flag and they came up with this design i didn't change anything maybe a few logos we moved like color combination but other than that this is what they originally came up with and i think it looks amazing so it's just stunning right from the beginning i just love how everything looks and this these colors they are so vivid and nice and bright in a, in a picture they look really good but when you see this bike on the sun it just looks amazing you have for all white plastics everything is white on this bike even uh, we changed the airbox so everything is white there is nothing orange this ktm has nothing orange not even one little piece i even got a new tank uh, cap because this piece was orange so <laughs> i wanted to have it gray so we got that we also have brand new tank because the old tank had little scratches as i said guys this thing i took all the way and even a little bit further than that i wanted this thing to be 110 percent so no scratches no old bolts no little things that are uh, no good everything is done and jay clark he was uh, watching me doing it so if i uh, wanted to cut a little corner then he was there telling me hey <laughs> you gotta you gotta do it 100 percent so thanks jay anyway we did it 100 percent and it looks amazing and i'm happy we did it in that way engine was done by brett from parapros uh, brett thanks a lot man you did an incredible job again uh everything there is new we have a uh, range rabbit kit vertex piston hinson clutch uh, we are running rk tech head for this build with the insert for my elevation and my fuel i'm gonna use and the bike runs really good when i broke it in it runs really good the carburetor is uh, keen uh, with jd jet ink and also we have v-force reed cage so the engine package is really solid FMA full system gnarly pipe and uh, silencer is through or two with a spark because we are here in California we need to be you know legal to ride national forest now one thing is really stands out on this build and I really love it is the carbon fiber protection from p3 p3 carbon have this uh, nice piece from the top of the tank uh, for the stock tanks on KTM's and probably some other bikes too and it just looks amazing when you 
combine it with a skid plate, pipe guard, and this tab on the piece, uh, this piece on the top, it just looks so amazing. I really love it. So Petri Carbon is taking care of us uh, right here. And we have a lot of protection from bulletproof. Starting from the front wheel, there is a, a disc protection and the fork protection. Then we have the radiator protection. And also in the rear, we have our disc uh, guard and, uh, and the guard for the caliper. And also on the other side, we have this uh, protection for the swing arm. This is the best setup I ever had on radiators. Uh, we sent them over to ICW. They straightened them and also they welded some support, some braces directly on the radiators. Then we added bulletproof uh, guards to the front of the radiator. And in the back, we added a trail tech fan that will cool the bike down if I hit certain temperature when I'm in the you know, technical riding and it's a hot day. So we're gonna use that. This is like the, the best setup I ever had uh, on the trail bike. From Trailtech, we also have a Voyager trip computer nicely tucked in here. And it will show you, show you everything, it has a GPS, shows you the elevation. So it's a really good piece right there. We are running a Phoenix handlebars, a little bit taller band. And the bar pad actually fits our color scheme. It's a uh, American flag, close, right? <laughs> We're in America, I live in America now, so it kind of makes sense. Slovakia and America comes together here, so that's fun. We have a hand guard from Enduro Engineering and uh, the guard for this for the clutch slave cylinder as well as this little grab handle so we can uh, move the bike around easily Baja design got this really nice light and it's super bright when I turn it on it works really great and I have this switch on the side I got it directly from KTM because uh, I don't need to have it on all the time you know only when uh, it's dark I'm coming back home so I, I'm gonna use it maybe I don't know once in two months or so but I really wanted to have a headlight because uh, sometimes I come a little bit late uh, from a ride and uh, I'm thinking man it would be really good to have a headlight so now I have it and I think I'm gonna use it our wheels are from SRT off-road uh, nice black uh, anodized rims and uh, raw aluminum hubs and of course we are running uh, Dunlop tires 8081 front and rear this is really good uh, setup for the hard pack trails that are usually right now the brakes are completely done everything there is new from golfer we have oversized front rotor and uh, standard rear rotor we have braided lines from golfer and also new brake pads we bled everything with J and these things uh, just works amazing it's such a good brakes uh, brembo brakes uh, and if you if you do them newly they they work really good all these little Cerakoted pieces that are done on the bike that you're seeing when I'm showing the pictures, everything was done uh, at Moto Blasters over in with Florida. Thank you guys, you guys did an amazing job, really appreciate your help. Now we have a lot of black anodized pieces from Works Connection. You know, for this bike, as I said, we didn't want to go uh, any color, nothing orange and nothing like that. So everything that is anodized is black and other aluminum parts are just raw aluminum. And I think uh, at the end, the final product, everything looks really good like that now every single ball that is super shiny is from spec bolts we got the restoration kit it comes with everything you need for the bike starting from your forks everything for the engine everything for the plastic so that's all done by spec bolts tm design work chain guide and chain slider in a black color looks great and works even better super sprack rear sprocket front sprocket and the o-ring gold chain Every single bearing on this bike was rebuilt using factory links uh, bearing kits starting from the front steering, uh, linkage uh, and the swing arm. Everything is new, everything is greased and it works really great. Foot pegs are titanium from Raptor. This is a company from UK. They're really nice and sharp. So I'm gonna be planted on this bike. In the front right here, we updated to 2020 look. Uh, we use Neil concept, the bracket, to be able to use this uh, new Refender Fastway Pro Motobill at kickstand. All right, my friends, I think that's that's about it. Uh, I'm probably forgetting little things because we did a lot of work on this bike, but hey, this is what I wanted to share today. Let me know again, let me know below in the comments how you like this build, uh, how you like this uh, Slovakia edition, my own uh, version of, uh, I guess, a six days KTM Slovakia edition bike. Uh, let me know what you think and don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.